Hello guys, this is Zuma, and welcome back to the forest. So guys, in this episode, we are finally going to be putting a roof on the swimming pool area. But before we do that, I just want to divert your attention to the 13 rocks in the corner there. So if you've been watching for the last 7 or 8 episodes, you know that I have no idea where those 13 rocks are. Um, they have totally disappeared. And even when I put the overlay icons on, you know when you build something, uh, a yellow hammer comes up? Well, when I turn them on... The yellow hammer is nowhere to be seen. I don't know where I need to build for those 13 rocks. And it might not seem a big deal, but having those 13 rocks there, have you ever had a bug on your windshield? <laughs> it's like that. I can't get it off and it's there all the time. It's on screen. The only way to get rid of it is to turn the hood off. But then it all changed when a legend called Patrick Goodman left this comment. Hey, when you're about to go up the first steps in your house, look at the corners. I think I saw a blueprint of rocks on the edge. He then went on to edit his comment saying, never mind, I think it's just some light coming through, but I thought I'd hop on and have a look anyway. Any leads on where these 13 rocks are, I am on it. <laughs> so these are the first steps. So where would the corner be? So I was just looking around, making sure I haven't missed anything. I couldn't see no blueprints. So I was in the corners here, and then it happened. There it is. It's been there the whole time. Hello, freaking Louia. The bug has gone. Oh. I have no idea how good that feels. So, massive thank you to Patrick Goodman. He doubted himself, but if it wasn't for his comment, I would never have checked there. So, I usually do the word of the video at the end of the episode, but in honor of that comment and Mr. Patrick Goodman, uh, everyone who's watching now, put Goodman in the comments. I think it might give him a little shock, because poor guy, he did doubt himself, but in the end, I did get rid of those 13 rocks. So, massive thank you to him. And I'm going to have to stare at those rocks no more. So you guys knocked it out of the park in the comments last episode. So you know I've been struggling with what to put here and what how to fill it exactly. Because I still want the lights to come in. This is where the sun sets. But I had a good comment saying, why don't I use the column or a single column that I did for the arches down there? Why don't I put it here instead? So why don't we give that a whirl? There was a few other comments about this single column design and how I should do it. But I thought I'd pick the guy who said it first. This is the problem I'm having a lot lately. The wall isn't actually going on top of the wall. It's always levitating. The gaps between the walls used to be a lot more than that, but they managed to sort it out, but it seems to be back again. You can see it on this one. They're usually pretty good at fixing stuff like this, but uh, I do want to get this design down a little bit just to show you guys the idea. I'm having little gaps like this all the way through the base. I mean, I can show you guys and then we'll destroy it when they fix it and then we'll do it properly. So I'll start off with a wall first. Put some gaps in, and then we'll uh, put the column on top. I don't know. We'll just have to make the best of a bad situation, because I really want to show you. Even, yeah, it's, you can see through there. This is just a test, just to show you the idea I have for this. Um, but they definitely need to change some of this building levitation, I guess, because the gaps that we're getting is crazy. So I'll have some rocks up here. Finally get to use this large rock holder. Okay, so this is going to be two trips. Here as well. I know it's not much, but when you see the gaps that shouldn't be there, it kind of brings you out with the immersion. <laughs> it defies gravity, man. Yeah. Like anything, when you come up with bugs and stuff in this game, you just work around it, try and make it the best you can. Try and revisit it a later date if you can patch it up and stuff. You wouldn't believe how much stuff I actually build that I do go back over and redo. <laughs> Off camera, of course. Hey! Get out of my pool! Thank you. Also, this is not a nudist pool. Didn't you read the sign? <laughs> Put some clothes on, miss. <laughs> also, you cannot steal my son. Although I'm probably going to get him back in the next video, but... You cannot take a man's son and use his pool. It's just damn right disrespectful. I know she can get out. I saw her run out before. Oh, but I've got an idea. Yeah. Ha! I know I'm going to do. See if I can zoom a special her in the pool. Oh, this could be good. This could be good. I need to time it right. Oh, that was... Oh, did I just miss it? You are lucky. You are very lucky. Oh, someone's hitting my base. 
Let's try again. Where you go? Oh, <laughs> imagine if I'd have got that. There was someone hitting my base though. You underwater? I think he's under my base. How did you get trapped in there? More importantly, how are you alive? I need to change it back to where the cannibals can't go underwater and survive at least. You got in here? Come on! You don't belong down here. Oh! That was a long jump. Come on, through this gap. That's it. On to dry land where you belong, you're not a fish. Come on out. Hey. That timing though. Stay out from under my base. Thanks. I think if you have enough blood on you, it should kind of act as the red paint where the cannibals are scared of you. <laughs> Ah, right, back to building. So now we can do the column going up. But not the double column like I used for the stone arches down by the pool. What about a single one? Just to enclose this doorway, I guess? If we can do a single column. Come on. Like that. <laughs> it doesn't even look like it's attached to there. Look at that! <laughs> Why are you levitating? I don't understand. But this was the idea, and this is going to be the final... Oh, look at that. That's perfection. Need some more rocks. Yeah, so once the uh, walls stop floating, I'll redo this again. Oh, we can get two more. Man, I can't wait to make this roof. There's going to be a hole in the roof, guys, so I can jump down in it. But you see the leaf traps there? I'm thinking of putting the leaf traps all the way around. And then we'll light it at the end of the episode, maybe, and see what it's like. Hopefully, we'll have some kind of fire pool. I don't know. I think it's going to be good. I'm hoping it's good. Those two are gone on top of each other perfect. I just don't know why that is floating. It's getting there. It's just a shame it's not all working perfectly. And then in here... I could probably... Oh, what's the, the bone wall actually looks... The bones actually look pretty good in there. So it does match the window. There's a bit of bone just coming through there, so... It's going to anchor it. It won't look like it's levitating as much. Really? Do I have bones up here? I always say this. I have arrows, no bones. Okay, I need one bone. When I hit the water, I stop for a second. I don't fully go into it. I do like jumping from the top of the castle into there, though. It's the reason why I'm going to put a hole in top of the swimming pool roof. There we go. It looks better. I think the bone fence just coming through and pinning the column so it doesn't look like it's levitating has saved it. But I think I've achieved in what I wanted to do in trying to keep it open so the sun can come through because this is where the sun sets. But then enclose it so it doesn't look like a massive hole inside of my castle. Let me know what you think, guys. Right, let's do the roof. Sun's about to set so we can see all the blueprints better. So we're missing our fourth column to put the roof on over there. We've got two this side, one over there, and then about here should be perfect. What do you think? A stone column, maybe? I could go... Oh. Yeah, maybe another stone column here. But the single column. I really do like that leaf trap. Look. The reason why we put the leaf trap there is because it kind of looks Roman. It's going to get a lot more Roman later. <laughs> For what I have planned anyway. Oh, is it floating again? Just... Go on the ground, please. What from here? Don't know if that's straight. So that's going to be one column. I think it's 
going to be about three high, right? So now we have our fourth corner to attach the roof to. Um, where the hell is the custom floor? Custom floor, there we go. So now I've got a decision to make. Do I make the roof go from here across, but then when it goes across like there, I'm going to have uh, gaps in the middle. Which I don't know if that's going to look right. So what I think I should do is if we go from this height and in fact we'll go from here. It's going to be chopping those little bits off. Which I think might be okay. So we'll go to there. It's working. That. Don't know if that's in line. And we got the last corner. Ah, it just sticks out a little bit too much. Right. Is that any better? Oh. <laughs> What is that? That's hardly anything. I'm glad I did that again. What about this side? Looking good. Alright. 47 logs. It's one less than the other one. No bit sticking out there. That's nice and flat. So you can see the top floor. They're going to have these archways overhanging a little bit. But that ain't so bad because this is going to have a wall going all the way around it, so you aren't going to see those top of those arches. Then we're going to have a hole in there. Man, if this wasn't the favourite part of my base already, I think it's going to become it. <laughs> and you're always going to be making a wooden roof, so I've got my logs all planned. Where's the sweet spot from there then? So it's jumping straight through this archway. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Hopefully this is getting my athleticism up. It's actually making me feel a little sick. <laughs> oh. What does that look like from here? The hole's not as big, so it's not as much of an eyesore. Definitely better than it was. Here. Come on, where was this? The sweet spot was right here. I'll use these. You're doing good, Raft. You're doing good. Eleven more. Have you ever played that frog game where you have to jump on the logs to get across the lake? <laughs> Reminds me of that. Last one. Well, I brought two. I don't know why. All right. Let's have a look around. It's quite low. This column has done its job. Look at that. And then we can put skull lights maybe in the archways. Right, now we've got to make the hole in top of the roof. This is going to be fun. So let's line it with these lines. If I mess this up, it could ruin everything. Oh, come on. That's pretty good. Um, I want the hole to be a bit smaller than the pool to make it kind of a challenge to jump in. A bit forward. I'm going to keep it dark, guys, because I really need to see the blueprint as I'm doing this. Ah, it's always nervous doing that. <laughs> don't feel right. We need to go up, don't we? 
Can I get on there? Wish me luck, Peanut. I could mess this up. Man, I think I might have gone too close to the edge. I don't have much space to walk around at all. That's much better. Not only that, the smaller we make the hole, then it's going to look better when we try to jump into it. Trying to jump into a hole the size of the swimming pool was far too easy. Count the beams this side. Uh, I won't count that one, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and in fact we won't count this because we're going to be having a wall across here, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more? Okay. This is going to be a bit delicate. If it'll even let me to do it. And this is close. Why is that one not doing as much? There we go. Looks about even from each side as well. So that's how we're going to be getting down. Uh, can I just jump up here? We are going to have some stairs going up here at some point as well. But we'll probably do that in another episode. Come on. Yes. I want it to be a bit of a chance to jump down there. That's going to look good. So if imagine there's a bone fence around it. Yep. That's what we wanted. So the light's still coming down into the swimming pool. Yeah, it looked cool with a burn fence around there. So, all thanks to this one column. The swimming pool is looking good. Now what I think I should do is put some skull lights in each one of these. Um, yeah, we'll keep it night time. Why not? I'll be able to see the skull blueprint a lot better. It's not in traps, it's in furniture. The ceiling skull light. Skull's facing out, or skull's facing in? Um, or alternating, maybe. Yeah, we'll have them alternating. Okay. So, oh, it goes on as well. This is going to look good. Wait a minute. I don't think that one was fully facing out. Uh, we missed that one. Put one on here. Uh, and then I'm going to miss that one. That one's going to go out. That one's going in. That one going out. I need some on these beams as well. I can get them. So, to try and get them even, what I always do is I put one at this end and one at this end. And sort of fill in the gaps. Oh, I fell, I fell. <laughs> No! There we go. Right. Don't fall in the water, buddy. Please. Oh, I need to be on the beam, though. Oh, is that? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what a legend. There we go. And then we'll put one in the middle. So the middle, if I can line it up on my screen with the frost around. That one's in view. Okay, so I think it's about there. There we go. And that's about even. It's so dark in this pool, that's why I'm doing this. Should look very lit up later. 
Okay, let's get them in. More rope. I should do it. Looking better already. Uh, okay. More rope. I said I wouldn't eat it. Okay, that was spoiled meat. Um, I need to go and get some skulls from the catapult. Not really? Fine. I'll just go around here. There you go. Three skulls. I'm pretty sure I have more than that over at my catapults. Oh, I got worried then when the first one was empty. <laughs> Running low on skulls. Cannibal activity has kind of gone down a bit. So this is the last one to face in. Oh, this is so cool. I'm going to light these. I'm going to remove these torches. And unfortunately, you can't hit them, look. You could use to destroy them, but the only way to destroy them is to light them. And then if you light them a couple of times, they do destroy. And the reason why I'm lighting these is because I'm going to put torches underneath the skull lights. Oh, I have to go back to get more skulls. need more rope as well. Um... After I made this, I think I'm going to make it daytime. I need to start skipping daytime so my trees, well, 10% of my trees grow back. <sighs> Left me with one skull. Cannibals, where are you? Right, so I can destroy these. You have to destroy them twice. The same when you build them, you have to build them twice as well for some reason. Removing these is going to be easier for me to walk around the pool now. And I'm just going to put one each archway in the middle. Uh, one more skull. Let's get rid of this. Alright. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Oh. There we go, that's rid of that. So I'm just going to quickly put some standing fires down. The more I light up this place, the better it's going to be. And putting it right under the skull would be good. Still along this side as well. That was a total guess in the middle there. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty good. Wow. This is the tranquil section. 70 leaves. I have 39 leaves. Why is it only saying I have 39 leaves? I have thousands. Oh dear. What's going on? What's going on? Wait a minute. Is it doing that thing where I have more but it's not counting them? You're saying I don't have a lot of leaves, but I know I do. Yeah. Oh, look at that, guys. Now the leaves have reset themselves. I have thousands and thousands of leaves. Oh, I got worried then when I saw I didn't have enough. I was like, how is that possible with all the trees I've chopped down? Um, sticks and rocks. Sticks we have over here. Nice one. Oh, where's that? I'm gonna need one more, Annie. I'll get the other stick when I go and get the rocks. Quickly get these done because we've got a show to put on. Come on. Oh. 
Now for the main event. This is what I've been looking forward to. So I'm going to put the leaf traps all the way around the swimming pool. I put the first one down as a tester to see if I liked it or not, and I do, so I might as well put them all the way around. Come on. I like it so the leaves go into the pool a little bit. Why doesn't shift make them faster? Oh man, I'm going to need one more this side. <laughs> Button mashing! We ain't using these as traps, but we only get one use out of them, so what I'll do is I will light it at the end and I'll just load up the game because I do like this as decoration. I'm using leaf traps as decoration. Beautiful. That's what it'll look like. A later date I might put some skull and lights on here as well. Maybe one in each corner. I definitely need to make this shift clicker be 5 and control clicker be 10. It does it for most stuff in the crafting mat, so it makes sense it does it here as well. Last one. Man, this fence is killing me. I want to see what this is going to look like. But the question is going to be whether when I light one trap, is it going to have a chain reaction and go right round? When these traps first came out, I did try the chain reaction thing and it did work. Never tried it with this many though. Right, uh, what are we missing? Oh, we need to do standing fires. I think it's pretty safe to say this is probably the coolest thing I've ever made. But it's about to get a lot cooler. Well, a lot hotter at least. <laughs> this is going to be so awesome. Oh, it could be an epic fail. If only one trap lights, this is going to be an epic fail. Yes! Look at this. The fire pool. Oh, all the schools around. I kind of feel like I'm in a cult or something. Oh, this is evil. How good is this game, guys? How good is this game? I played nearly 900 hours and I'm still blown away by some of the stuff you can do in it. That is so cool. Oh, I look so evil from this side. Oh, man. And it's gone. <laughs> oh, apart from my little arrow there. Oh, man. Even if you don't load the game back up, that was probably almost worth doing on its own. Man, how cool was that? <laughs> oh dear. But anyway guys, this is where we're going in the episode. The next video that's going to be coming out is kind of a special one because we're going to be able to go behind the vault and finally save Timmy. I hope. I don't know what's going to happen. Do not worry, it's not going to be the end of the series. I'm just going to load up the save file before and then we'll continue playing. But I've been waiting two and a half years to find out what happens. And man, if I can save Timmy, I'm going to do it. Uh, what do I think is going to happen? I don't know, but if you do save him, I imagine you're going to escape by the yacht because the yacht is above the vault cave, right? I don't know. Take from that what you will. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like or support this series. And if you got this far, you know what to put in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. And take care.